A busy weekend for Scottsdale Police as two high-speed pursuits take place within city limits. KDB.TV News starts right now. From your trusted source for news in western Nebraska and eastern Wyoming, this is KNEB.TV News. Presented by Platte Valley Companies, premier provider of financial services. Hello, I'm Ryan Murphy. This is KNEB.TV News, powered by Platte Valley Companies. Thanks for joining me. In our top story, an Alliance man is behind bars after a reported stolen vehicle led Scottsdale police on a pursuit and apartment search Friday night. Officers located the stolen vehicle near 7th Avenue and East Overland around 6.50 p.m., which led to a pursuit that eventually went through the parking lots of the Uptown Scottsdale Mall and former Kmart building before the vehicle was abandoned near Broadway and 23rd. Officers located the suspect, 38-year-old Chad Kelly, hiding in a nearby vacant apartment, and he was arrested without incident on charges including theft of a motor vehicle, possession of stolen property, and flight to avoid arrest as well as three warrants out of alliance. And four women face drug and flight to avoid arrest charges after a high-speed pursuit in and around Scottsbluff and Gehring Sunday morning. Scottsdale police say officers witnessed a narcotic violation near Walmart and attempted a traffic stop on a Ford Taurus, but the car fled eastbound going through several parts of Scottsbluff, Gehring, and the county for about 35 minutes. Speeds reached 100 miles per hour on the Heartland Expressway before a successful spike strip deployment at the Broadway Bridge eventually forced the vehicle to stop in a bank parking lot near Broadway and 20th Street. All four occupants arrested on charges that included possession of a controlled substance, tampering with evidence, and flight to avoid arrest. The 31-year-old driver from Greeley also held on a charge of felony drug distribution. We'll have more news right after this. At Platte Valley Bank, we want to help you take advantage of every adventure. We know you have plans, goals, and dreams. Let us help you with them. Whether it is building, buying, or renovating, we have the home loan or home equity line of credit to fit your needs. Stop in and see us at Platte Valley Bank and let us help make your dreams a reality. You belong here. Platte Valley Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Are you looking for the perfect place to hold a wedding, family reunion, holiday office party, or business meeting? Well, look no further. The Hampton Inn and Suites Hotel and Conference Center is just the place for you. We're a full service banquet facility that can host up to 400 of your guests. Stop in and see our spacious open concept meeting rooms and begin planning your special event or family gathering today. Let us do the work for you so you can enjoy your guests. For personal service, stop by the Hampton Inn and Suites front desk. The code 5555 rang out Saturday, signifying the end of shift for Captain Ryan Lohr, as family, friends, peers, and community members by the hundreds gathered over the weekend for memorial services for the Scottsbluff Fire Captain. Lohr was remembered as someone who gave his all for his family, community, and his colleagues. He was laid to rest Saturday afternoon following an eight-month battle with cancer. During the memorial service at Western Nebraska Community College, Scottsdale Fire Chief Tom Shingle called Ryan a leader, confidant, mentor, and an inspiration, but perhaps most of all, a fighter. He strived to be the very best he could for his family and friends, and all the while doing so with a strong desire to serve the community. He put the fighter in firefighter striving for personal mastery in an effort to provide the highest level of care to those who called upon him for help. Even in the face of adversity, Ryan never gave up and would seek solutions to overcome any challenge presented before him. Ryan's wife Andrea told the crowd that she stood before them brokenhearted but humbled by the love being shown for Ryan, herself and their children, 
as he faced his final battle with grace. Ryan knew where he was going and he took solace in that. He was never mad or bitter about any of this. He said, we each get a turn. And mine just came so much earlier than I thought it would. I hold on dearly to the fact that the next time I get to see Ryan, he'll be happy and healthy and whole again. A long procession carried Laura to his final resting place at the Garing Cemetery. Allo means reliability, productivity, connect. Allo means no more of that. Allo means business, local business, big business, small business. If you need reliable phone and internet connectivity, you need Allo. Local service and same day dispatch free installation, symmetrical upload and download speeds. If your business relies on communication, rely on Allo. Allo means business. Visit allofiber.com forward slash business. Culture trumps everything else. In my years, I've never worked for a company that treats people the way this one does. It is my passion for agriculture that brought me here in the first place, but not only that, there's a huge uh, family-oriented atmosphere within the 21st century equipment. I love working for 21st. They found something in me that I didn't know in myself. An intern to where I'm at now is such a great opportunity, and that is what this company is about. Sports from the FNBO Sports Desk. FNBO, the great big small bank. Cougar volleyball blazing out of the gates. High school sports on the network and a local captain in Lincoln. Well, the opening weekend of the season turned out to be a dream start for the Cougar volleyball program. They entered the year at number 18 in the nation. They exit their first four matches with wins over top 12 ranked teams, including three top five opponents. WNCC swept the competition at the Reaver Invite in Council Bluffs, Iowa. Every bit of it was impressive from the top five wins on Friday to handling prosperity and coming back early and getting wins in back-to-back -back matches on Saturday morning. Cougar Volleyball 4-0 set to host EWC at Cougar Palace on Wednesday night. That'll have first serve at 7 o'clock. Our high school sports broadcast season will get started tomorrow with Scotts Bluff softball taking on Sterling, Colorado. We'll have Scotts Bluff at Gearing in softball on Thursday. And then on Friday, the football season kicks off for us with Scotts Bluff at Lincoln Pius. Gearing will host Torrington. Both teams were on their respective game fields last Friday night with preseason scrimmages still on opposite ends of the Class B spectrum heading into the season. Scotts Bluff hopes hoping for a state championship, Gehring looking to better their 2-7 record from a year ago. High school football season in full on Friday. For Husker football, it's game week with the team set to leave for Dublin, Ireland tonight as they get set to open the year Saturday against Northwestern. Over the weekend, the team voted on captains and is anyone surprised? You shouldn't be. Scott's Bluff's own Garrett Nelson named one of the four team captains. It was it was pretty surreal, um, especially doing it with Nick. Um, Nick's Nick's been there for me, and I like to say we've been there for each other for you know since before college. So he's been my roommate every year. Uh, we haven't moved <laughs> apart from each other. Um, we've kind of been 
each other side by side the whole step of the way. And so when when both of us got named, um, there was there was a tear or two shed and a big hug. Um, but it, it uh, it's an honor. I mean, it's pretty easy when you have a great group of, group of guys. So it's you know, but it it, it says a lot uh, that you know out of those great group of guys, uh, they they want you to lead them into games and into adversity and be the voice of the team. Should be a real nice opening week test for Nelson and the rest of that defensive line. They'll be up against a Northwestern offensive line that returns four starters, including potential All-American Peter Skaronski. Uh, I mean, you know, that's why you play in this league. Uh, in the Big Ten, every week you're going to have the best offensive lineman uh, in the country uh, you're going against. And, um, you know, we, I've always been talking about how much I've improved my pass rush. And um, like you said, this is probably the great test right out the gate. So, um, you know, that's uh, definitely been, it's been on my mind for a while, if, if you want to be honest. Um, I'm really excited because um, obviously, that, like I said, that's why you're in, the le in this league, to rush against those best guys. But um, I'm really excited for the opportunity. And Nebraska is set to fly out of Omaha tonight, Saturday, Northwestern in Dublin. Kickoff at 1030 in the morning, Mountain Time. That is the latest today from the FNBO Sports Desk. I'm Chris Cottrell. <laughs>Community Calendar is brought to you by Riverstone Bank. First State Bank is now Riverstone Bank. Community strong with the same people you know and trust. Fly United Airlines operated by SkyWest with Western Nebraska Regional Airport. United is dedicated to going the extra mile for you with daily flights to and from Denver along with a commitment to excellent service. Reserve your flight today and remember United miles can be earned and redeemed with your flights. While at the airport, stop and enjoy authentic Italian food at Roma Italian Restaurant. Plus, Hertz Thrifty Car Rental is there for your car rental needs. Make life easier, relax, and get on board with Western Nebraska Regional Airport. At Platte Valley Bank, we want to help you take advantage of every adventure. 
We know you have plans, goals, and dreams. Let us help you with them. Whether you are just starting the business you have always imagined or looking to grow your existing one, we have a business loan to fit your needs. Stop in and see us at Platte Valley Bank and let us help make your dreams a reality. You belong here. Platte Valley Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. And finally tonight, a large crowd was on hand Saturday afternoon at the Weeborg 21 Center in Gehring as members of the Nebraska National Guard 1057th Military Police Company returned from a deployment to the Middle East. Major General Daryl Bohack thanked the men and women for their service and dedication in representing Nebraska proudly. I'm very proud of you all the accomplishments you did and how you represent Nebraska yet once again. Um, Lieutenant Governor Mike Foley also spoke, thanking family members for their sacrifices, as well as the sacrifices of the soldiers who represented our state and our nation honorably. Well, that is it for us this time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stay safe out there. We'll see you here next time.